All right, in my previous video, I created a Arduino circuit and software that sent a repeating tone to the speaker, sort of like a fox hunting beacon. And the purpose was really just so that you could interface your Arduino with your radio, just to get something simple done to wrap your head around the concept of how that would work. And I promised to come up with something a little more advanced, and so here it is. This is a canned message sender and a paddle type dual key here. If you push this button, it will send automatically whatever message that you have told it to via the Arduino serial input window. And over here you can just manually key. And so this takes a bit, but what I have is three CQs and my call sign programmed into here as a default. Okay, so I can change the message in here. I might want to just repeatedly send CQ and my call to initiate a contact. Then my options are to either switch over to manual keying or continue to enter new messages into the serial window and send them this way. So I could also do manual. So that's just a paddle type key with dots and dashes. And I want to just quickly look at the circuit because you can see how simple this is, which implies that this is a very software-driven circuit. The Arduino is doing mostly everything here. There's very little hardware. We only need to look at one of the switches because they're all exactly the same. Um, so we'll just start with this one with an explanation of what's happening here. So from the power rail, the red rail, we have the 220 ohm resistor coming into the in input for power on the switch, so one side of the switch. And what that does is it draws the switch constantly into a high state, a 5 volt state. This wire between the resistor and the switch is monitoring. This is the Arduino's connection. In this case, it's pin 7. It's monitoring to see if this switch is currently high or low. And right now, it knows that this switch is high. When I push the button, it drops that high voltage down to ground. And this Arduino pin says, well, that's what I've been looking for when the switch is pushed, that means we've gone low, and low means execute the message. Same thing over here. Low means send a dot or a dash. Very simple. And so we'll take a look at the software because this is mostly software, but just notice how simple uh, the wiring is and how very little there is here. There's about a dollar's worth of material at most on this uh, breadboard, including the breadboard. So this is a functional useful circuit that you could actually do quite a bit with rather than just that simple fox hunting tone. So let's take a look at the software. Alright, so here's our code. I will upload this. Let me resend it and get a clear serial monitor output here. Alright, so I will upload this to GitHub and put it in the description shortly. I might not do that immediately, but give it a day or so. Um, I'm also going to just make sure that I do scan through this in its entirety so that you can see what's going on. You can stop the video and check as we go to see see what I've put in here. If you want to enter it by hand, I wouldn't. Um, I will upload it. You'll have access to it just like this. I might annotate each line a little better, uh, but for now this is what it is. So. A couple things to be aware of. I'm sure you're aware of Arduino programming and sort of the, the syntax and the setup. Just a couple things to point out. I have up here um, the integers that we're going to be using. And the duration of a dot in milliseconds, I have it 100. To me, the way I currently have this set sounds like about 15 words a minute, maybe less. But if you change this number, you can change all of these without having to mess with, well, if I change the dot duration, what should my dash be? Well, if I change this to 200, does this have to be 600? We don't have to do any of that. You only have to change this number because these are multiples. And so as long as you're changing just the dot duration, you will automatically have the effect of altering these in accordance with the standard of Morse, which is usually one to three. And so you don't have to keep, you just have to change this. You don't have to keep go changing all those. Now the string message is the message that's going to be encoded 
permanently before you make any changes to the message. So if I'm not using this with my laptop or computer and I want to just go out in the field and start sending a canned message, in this case my call sign with CQ, I can just keep hitting the button and get my contact established. And then I can manually key. I can just manually key from there. I'm just saving myself a lot of effort by manually keying this over and over again. I can just go ahead and use the two finger finger buttons to, to send uh, manually. Could do that. But we're going to look at how to do it with a serial monitor. So if you have this hooked up to your laptop and you take this set up into the field, what we're going to do is we're going to change this string to anything you want to put in there. And instead of sending this when you push the button, it'll send whatever you want, want to put in there. So I'll give you an example. Here's our serial monitor window, and you will you might need to open it. I noticed that on my monitor, for some reason, the hourglass is covering my serial monitor. It, it, I don't know if this is an Arduino IDE issue, or I don't know what this is. But you got to open up your serial monitor to make sure you can view this window once this is open. You send this to your Arduino once, and then you're done. You don't have to keep sending it. You're just going to upload the program, and it's going to say, well, the program tells me that this is the string that I'm sending. But to change the string, I'll just say... And we'll send that. Now, I don't have to resend this up here. I just have to enter it and, and hit the enter button on my computer. So now that I push the button, so all I have to do when I get an incoming message is respond to it. Hit the button. You get the idea. So you can continuously update the string uh, using the serial serial window here, or you can manual key, and you can go back and forth. Once the program is running on your Arduino, you go back and forth. You can hit the send key, and you can manually key. There's no limitations to that. So that is my Morse auto key or canned message system. Um, if you like the video, please do subscribe and like it because I haven't made videos in quite a while. I'm in my junior year of an electronic engineer degree, and it takes a lot of my time, especially as I go into junior year work, it's harder and harder. But I like to share information as my skills develop. I like to share those skills. And so this is a direct result. This program here is a direct result of a class project that we had to do. I finished up a, a, an assignment and said, you know, this would make a really great start to a Morse keyer. And then I thought, well, what about an automated Morse keyer, an auto messenger? And it went from there. So um, if people like the videos and it gets popular, of course, I'll continue to make them. But I, there has to be some, I have to have some reason to do so. And the channel's not huge at this point. So if you help grow it, we'll keep doing it. So that's generally how this works. And again, I will be uploading the code to my GitHub when I figure out what my GitHub uh, ID is because I haven't used it in a while. Um, and then you can mess with the, the, the program all you want. Um, give it a try, but it's out of the box. You can go ahead into the field and start sending messages. And I think that's pretty cool. Uh, not only to implement Arduino maybe for the first time, but also to, if you're not really familiar with Arduino, I, I have this arranged in a very standard way where you will learn by doing. Get the program running and then go back and say, well, how is it doing? And just kind of learn. You'll learn your Arduino coding through uh, following along with what you see here. And I'll annotate these a little better before I upload them. So it's, it's more of an explanation of what exactly is happening. So go ahead and implement that and let me know how you like it. In the meantime, 7.3.